Hey guys, I am Yash. Today I will show you how to add data to core data and also how to retrieve data from core data. So let's get started. Create a new Xcode project, single application, name it C data. Don't name it core data, otherwise it will clash with a module. So and your app won't work. So do make sure you name it something other than core data. Uh, do check the settings and this time we will be checking this use core data option next save it wherever you want so here we have a file xc data model uh, which is used to create entities and attributes for core data so let's create our first entity which will be user make sure you uh, capitalize it so otherwise uh, xcode will prompt an error first attribute will be name which will have type string and other attribute will be age, uh, which will have type integer 16. Nobody has age greater than that. <laughs> okay, next step uh, is to go under add delegate. Now here a few things are different. First is this imported core data and other difference is this. Okay, this stuff is for core data saving support as you may read. So under this, let's create a constant let app delegate is equal to UI application dot shared dot delegate which will uh, we will downcast it to app delegate okay now we need to create context for it context equals to uh, we will use app delegate we just created dot persistent container dot view context okay we are done with this now let's hop over to view controller and start coding okay first of all let's get rid of this boilerplate code uh, we'll first insert data to core data so let's create function insert data okay first let's create an object of our entity uh, so let user equals to user now I don't know Xcode has some problem or something but I don't get the user unless and until I restart my app. So if you find any other solution, cleaning, building, I have tried all that. Uh, so if you find any solution, do let me know in comments. I'm reopening my app right now. So now I will get it. I know it's weird. Okay, so we will be using this one, context and type in context, the constant we created earlier. Now it's really easy. From here, it's just user.name the attribute we used uh, name it alpha and uh, user dot age which will be 17 uh, let's create one more user okay let's just copy and paste it here name it user 1 do make sure you change it here also and name it beta and uh, age will be 99 okay now we have added uh, this values to the object so let's save it which is app delegate the constant we created earlier dot save context done we are done with adding data to core data now let's retrieve it from the core data okay okay let's uh, finish the stuff of inserting it to core data okay just call the function insert data okay okay here we are okay run the app app is running okay so uh, you might not know but the data is saved to the core data so stop the app and uh, do comment this out okay otherwise uh, there will be multiple data inside our application so now let's create a function to fetch data func fetch data and in order to fetch data first we need a variable here okay variable data which will be an array of our entity which is user and we will initialize it okay now this process throws an error so we will do it under do statement which will be now data equals to try context dot fetch here we will pass in request 
which will be our entity user dot fetch request done we have the data in our hands let's use it uh, and first of all let's take care of catch statement uh, catch I spelled it wrong uh, handle error handle error okay so let's start now this data is an array so we will use each to use each uh, data okay each set of data and uh, let's just print it out print uh, name colon string interpolation each dot name now see guys a string is an optional as you can see there is a question mark so we need to force unwrap it we will do it using exclamation mark slash n for a new line uh, now age colon again each dot age now integer is a sure to come so no force unwrapping so just slash n for a new set of data and we are good to go we have uh, unchecked this uh, commented it out or else what we can do is let's change it to gamma and uh, ma okay <laughs> this should work and let's keep it we will have four data so print data don't forget to call our fetch function which will be fetch data and run kaboom okay app is running hey guys i'm running it on macbook pro still it's a bit slow i need a mac pro anyway someday so here we have it we have multiple datas here which is name okay so so that's how you do it guys now uh, if you want to get rid of the data we created what you do is uh, open the simulator press shift command H and delete the app you just created okay now this will delete the data you created now uh, run the app again and there will be fresh data this time uh, this time there should be only gamma and mama let's see here it is so cool guys keep watching if you like my videos hit like comment and subscribe thank you